mathematics teacher i warmly welcome you all on the platform of digital academics provided by moonlight international publishers today my topic is multiply a two digit number up to one decimal place by 10 100000 by the end of this lesson you will be able to multiply a two digit number up to one decimal place by 10 and 1 so right now we are going to do multiplication of decimals by 10 and 1 so first of all we are going to do multiplication by 10 so for that sake you need to have some kind of rules okay so for that rule rule kya hai rule ye hai janab just check this one out when a decimal is multiplied by 10 the decimal point ki movement ko aapne check karna hai this movement is according to the place value yes this place value yes this is according to the place values of decimals yes so the decimal places are basically going to tell you that how many jumps the decimal point is going to do according to that and on which side on right hand when we are going to do multiplication the decimal point is going to move on your right hand side and if it is having one zero for example because here we are going to do multiplication by 10 so for here we are going to have one zero so the decimal point is going to move one place to the right okay so here the question is multiply 2.4 by 10 so why we are going to do multiplication yes in this way this is a shorter and a uh, mental calculation kind of thing so right now you are going to write it in like this 10 multiplied by 2.4 now what to do we are going to move decimal point yes you can see the decimal places you already know the decimal places if you don't know so no worry i am going to recall it for you guys the decimal places are basically the decimal places are basically the digits okay the digits after the decimal points okay so here the decimal point here is this one and the the, the digits will be of course from which side right okay so we are going to count the decimal places here you can see that 2.4 is having how many decimal places that it has hmm, one decimal place. so right now we are going to move one decimal place because we have one zero and this side is this right hand side so 2.4 is going to be whenever it is going to be multiplied by 10 we are going to write it like this how comes you can check the movement of the arrow this red arrow yes one jump mean this will go in here so it will be 24.0 or you can say that without the decimal point we are going to write it down because this is a whole number so we are not I'm going to write it down 24.0 instead we are going to write it 24 now for doing multiplication by 100 as i told you in the multiplication by 10 that this is according to the number of zeros okay so the number of zeros over here in 10 1 and in 100 2 so when a decimal is multiplied by 100 the decimal point is moved by two places to the right so it is going to jump how many places two places so just check this one out if this is the example 2.4 is going to multiply by the number 100 so we are going to write it down like 100 multiplied by 2.4 but here we have one decimal place in the number 2.4 so what you are going to do yes whenever there is no decimal place written we are going to suppose that the next decimal place is zero so we are going to write it down like 2.40 according to two decimal places because we have two zeros in 100 so it is going to move two decimal places to the right hand so right now you are going to move two decimal places means this will be 240 yes 240 instead of 240.0 because we are going to write down the number in whole number kind of okay so right now we are going to move forward to multiplication that is multiplication by 100 so right now whenever we are going to do multiplication by 100 the same rule goes on that is when a decimal is multiplied by 1000 the decimal point is moved by how many places because 1000 has 
three zeros. So it is going to move three decimal places to the right hand. Okay. So do remember that. So uh, again, for the same number, two point four. If I'm going to take the same number and I'm going to multiply it by one thousand. So what to do? It has three zeros. But two point four has how many decimal places? One decimal places. This number four. So what to do? Whenever there is no decimal place or one decimal place written, you are going to write zeros instead. So we can write two zeros also after four. So here we go. Two point four zero zero. So group is going to move. This decimal point is going to move which side? Right hand side. How many places? Three places. So check this one out. Four zero zero means this is two four. Zero zero two thousand and four hundred. Instead, we are not going to write decimal point over here. Although this is over there, but this is hidden. Okay, so no need to take hidden numbers over there. We are going to write whole number instead. Okay. Hope the whole procedure is clear to you guys. We'll get back to you with more interesting concepts. Till then, you need to take care of yourself as well as your family. Allah Hafiz.